In this video, I wanna to talk to you about customizing your GitHub profile. When was the last time you customized it, and updated it? Because people are looking at your contributions. I mean, this is Hacktoberfest. This is when you're getting involved in open source. This is when, this is the month when people are really gonna be looking at your contributions and at your profiles because all your issues, your pull requests, your commit, everything lead back to your profile. So are you updating it? I mean, that's really, really important. I haven't updated mine in a while, but I do have some automation that automatically updates it for me. For example, my latest videos appear here and you can add your blog posts and you could do that with some GitHub Actions and I will show you that shortly. So let's just, you know, have a look at what you can do. So I'm actually gonna head into this repo because your customized GitHub profile is just a repo, but it's got a specific name. It will be the same name as your username. So if you haven't customized your GitHub profile yet, you can go add new repository. And when you create a new one, give it the exact name, same case, same spacing. There's no spaces, but same like hyphens, dashes, whatever you're using as your username. So therefore you will see in my case, Eddie Jowd, Eddie Jowd, exactly the same. And anything you put in this readme will appear on your profile. So you can see this looks exactly the same as what we saw on my profile. Profile. But the great thing about this is you can actually add other things as well, other automations, GitHub Actions, all that cool stuff. So the first place I would start is when you create it, they give you a template. Just use that. It asks you a few questions and you can and fill in your name in the in the markdown file. And that's a great place to start. The next thing you want to do is learn some markdown. So let me quickly run through some markdown just so we're all on the same page. The way I'm going to show you this, I'm just going to create a new issue, for example. Um, I'm not actually going to hit create, but I can just write the markdown here and hit preview. So for example, if you want a heading one, like a H1, you would do a single hash. And yes, you have some tools up here to help you, but you don't always have that, especially in the markdown file. That's why it's really important to learn. Maybe like 10 things you need to learn um, to customize anything with markdown, a GitHub issue, a comment, an inline comment, a pull request description, or customizing your GitHub profile. So this would be a heading one. So I recommend only using that once on the page. And if you want a heading two, well, it's two hashes. And if you want a heading three, you guessed it is three hashes. I do have a full video on how to do some awesome stuff with markdown and you get the idea. Then normal text is, this is normal text. And then if you want a list, you can say item one, item two, and you can even do three dashes to do like a horizontal line, like a line, kind of like a, yeah, a rule, a line rule, a line break, line break? No, not a line break, but a horizontal line. I'll show you that in a second when we hit preview. But you can also do check boxes. So if you wanted to do, I don't know, certain thing like item one, done, and then you can say item two, not done. Let's hit preview and see how it looks. There you go. So you've got item one, item two. You've got this horizontal rule that I mentioned, not line break. And then you have item one is check and item two isn't. Those are the kind of the usual things that you need. You can do tables, which is pretty useful. Actually, let me quickly show you that because that's really important. And then we're gonna get into some super interesting things. And we're gonna look at kind of what looks good and, and what doesn't in your profile. And let's just talk about it. I do do GitHub profile reviews on live streams. And if you want yours reviewed and shouted out, do let me know. You can add it to the support repo and Eddie help. I'm just going through those, but we'll do some more during Hacktoberfest. So this will be column one and then this would be column two and you can do as many of these as you want and then the next line you need to do your alignment so you could do left alignment and then we could do right alignment for example and then we could say row one column one and then it would be row one column two you get the idea, right? And if I just copy that, it would then be row two, row two, and then the columns would stay the same. So if we go preview, that's what the table looks like. So now you know Markdown, let's uh, let's go back to the main repo and you can see how this is done. This is kind of what you get when you first create the repo as a template. It gives you some bullet points with some uh, icons and asks you to fill it in, like what you're learning, what you're doing, and so on. I've customized this a bit further. I've put a banner at the top and I've made it clickable. I've got some badges that you could also use. And if you find someone's um, repo that you really like, just go have a look at it and you can go have a look and see how they're doing it. So here you go, we can see, you don't have to hit edit, you can kind of view the file. There's, there's so many different ways to do it. Because if you do hit edit, it'll probably make a fork under your account, which is nothing wrong with that, but just to make you aware. And you can see how it's done. So I've actually used some um, HTML here and you can use some limited HTML for extra customization. So for example, I want target blank to, so the link opens in a new tab. Whereas if I did this in 
Markdown, it would open in the, in the same tab. And I wanted it to keep people on my profile as well and open it in a new tab. So you can customize it further. And also with, with uh, aligning center, you can't do that in Markdown. So I used uh, HTML for that. This is Markdown. You can see with the uh, the dashes for the list items, a bit more HTML. I did use a table here in HTML rather than Markdown because in the table, I wanted to use HTML and you can't mix Markdown and HTML on the same line. And then this is my YouTube videos, but this is generated by a GitHub Action, which I'll show you shortly. Testimonials, I have hard coded. Um, and again, just keep updating your profile little and often. It's not something you're gonna get right on day one. And when someone comes back to your profile a week later, it'd be nice for them to see something different. And then they'll think, oh, I'll come back and visit again in a week to see something else that's different. So do kind of update it, you know, little and often I think is uh, is really, really important. So let me show you the GitHub action now and see what we've got running. And you can literally copy and paste this. I do have videos dedicated how to do this and how to customize it further, but I still wanna, wanna show you it. So workflows, and I've just got one workflow, so one GitHub action on this. And you can see uh, at midnight every night, although, um, People do recommend not to do it dead on midnight every night because everyone's doing it at midnight. Do it like at 12.30. So I should probably update that. Feel free to send a pull request in for that if you need a green square. And then I'm using this GitHub action and then I'm customizing it with this. So they're gonna look for YouTube video lists and I specifically called it that just in case I have other lists that I want the GitHub action to update. I only want the four latest posts at maximum. This is the feed. So it's my, my channel ID, basically what I changed at the end. Any custom tags, the date. This template is the row in the HTML table. And so you can customize it further if you want. And then I put a limit to the, description. So literally you could copy and paste all of this and just change the channel ID and it would work for you. Or you could change the feed list to be um, a blogging platform or something like that, which is quite interesting. I should probably do that for maybe some Eddie Hub blogs as well. We need to have a, have a think and see. Let me know your suggestions in the comments below because I'm always keen to look at your profiles and also um, your ideas and see what you've seen that works really well, looks really nice. We do have a, a repo, Awesome GitHub Profiles in EddieHub where you can add your profile if you want people to check it out and you can get inspiration from there as well. I mean, the other thing we can do is we can go look at other people's profiles. So these are my sponsors. So if I just click on Amanda, Amanda, thank you so much for sponsoring me. We can go have a look at Amanda's profile. So Amanda has a banner, um, but again, it's customized. It's So you should really customize your profile because you're straight away gonna, gonna stand out. Um, and I think that looks really good. And then if we look at Produma, I know Produma updates uh, their profile a lot as well. So they've got a banner, which looks really good, and a badge, latest blog post, and achievements. See, that's really interesting. So I haven't got an achievement section. Maybe maybe I should. I know in the BioDrop project, we have got an issue open to get a widget displayed for the GitHub profile. So that's going to be super exciting. I can't wait to hear what you want to see in your widget and, and how you would customize it and so on. It's great to get inspiration from other people. And like I said, if you see anything you like, you can just click on it. It'll take you to the repo. Then you can go to the readme and you can you know click code and just see how people have, have done it. And I think that's always like super interesting and a great, great way to learn. So let's recap, customize your GitHub profile. You can use Markdown, you can use some basic HTML and you need to customize it because you'll immediately stand out. And also when people come back to your profile, you can kind of curate what content you want them to see. And if you keep updating it, you know, fairly often and frequently, then they'll want to keep coming back to your profile. That's how you get more followers on your profile because you've got to give them a reason to, to follow. And, and the reason is you're going to be giving them value via your profile, not just your contributions that you have um, below, but also um, you, this really important real estate that is on your profile. But let me know what you think in the comments below. And I look forward to geeking out with you in the Eddie Hub Discord. I'm geeking out there every day on the BioDrop project. So come and geek out with us. I'll see you there.